Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. You ready? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Dennis. <laughs> it's going to be a wild morning, guys. I'm going to uh, make this video and then uh, go get my car looked at. The uh, air conditioning hit a spot yesterday where uh, it decided not to work. And uh, it came back on later in the day. So I'm going to take that as a little warning sign and uh, go get it looked at. It could just be a Freon issue. I hear a plane. They had a Coast Guard helicopter out here earlier. Just looking at Aransas Bay, enjoying the water. Hey guys, uh, if you would do me a favor. Uh, my friend uh, made her channel public. It's called That Girl Travels. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, pretty young girl, U.S. veteran, kids, doing family stuff. So, hey, That Girl Travels. Roll my intro. So I just got done filming this segment, put my camera away, and a dolphin three times came up right by uh, that little uh, rope, floating rope thing, whatever that's called. And by that time I got the camera out ready to shoot and the microphone hooked up, and I never saw them again. <laughs> and that's the way looking for dolphins usually works especially when I'm trying to film them he's gone and he's not coming back until I shut the camera off and put it away freaking dolphins well guys I picked up a uh, package from the mail center and it is from Olene so thank you very much Olene uh, the note says looks like it is revving up to be a really hot summer yeah it is try to stay cool you're always cool. <laughs> Coming to you from hot and humid Louisiana, Olene. Olene, thank you very much. This is a shower bag, guys, like a portable shower bag. You can fill it and uh, you get hot water. There goes another plane. I wonder what's going on today. Sometimes at the local uh, airfield, they'll have uh, shows going on or get togethers. No idea just speculating it is super windy guys but the sun came out we'll take that gorgeous uh, yeah the heat index is 106 right now it's a bit toasty the breeze makes a big difference when I was uh, going to sleep last night I kept the uh, back of the truck open as long as I could and it wasn't uncomfortable uh, once you shut that back up and just have to rely on the two side windows, it can uh, it can get ugly quick. But uh, here I am. Lots of water. Yeah. It's a gorgeous day. I got an awesome uh, postcard. Padre Island National Seashore. And it is from uh, Bud at Bud's Backyard. Check his channel out. Link in the description. Big Howdy from beautiful Rockport, Texas. I've heard of that. I always want to go there somewhere, someday. And uh, there's my mailing address, guys. Uh, but when you look it up in the description, uh, K-E-L-L-E-Y. Uh, I, I don't know what I'll get and what I won't get if it's not exactly how it's supposed to be anymore. But... Uh, Thank you very much for the card, bud. I appreciate it. Absolutely beautiful. What is the only thing that works after it has been retired? A truck. <laughs> I 
Think about that one. So I got a comment from David. Let me read it to you. Dennis, even though today's your birthday and the heat index is 107 in Texas and you will probably get malaria from all the mosquitoes, could you go over to Goose Island State Park and show us the big tree? I know you've been there eight or nine times, but I don't have the time to look through your old videos. So just head on over there now. David, come on, man. I'm just kidding, guys. David didn't really write that. But uh, David uh, uh, wanted to see the big tree. So uh, I know the rest of us have seen it. So there might be three or four new people who have never seen the big tree in Lamar, Texas. Uh, depending on what sources you read, it is over a 1,000 years old. Some sources say... 2000 which I know they have tests for that so I don't know why they don't have like a 50 year span but uh, yeah science what are you going to do what are you going to do science let's go uh, see the big tree it's uh, technically part of Goose Island State Park well here's the path up to the big tree guys got some company today and fortunately they left their diesel truck running I wanted you to hear the birds but I know a lot of you guys are always saying you know Dennis there's just not enough diesel truck engine uh, noises in your videos today's your day guys big tree Goose Island State Park that's it Oh, you want to get closer? Okay. There's the big tree, guys. It's windy. It took a beating during uh, Hurricane Harvey and probably 30 other hurricanes in its lifetime. And one of my favorite things about the big tree is this awesome fence around it. Just ignore the fact that there's bigger trees right next to it. it takes all the fun out of it if you look left and right. <laughs> if you can make them out, they have uh, some suspension wires for support. And then some of the larger band branches they have supported too. Talking to some nice people, I was telling them how at this very spot, you know, explaining a little history to the kids, uh, Bumblebee from the Transformers was right there, and a T-Rex was right here, and they had a battle. And that's why the tree is so messed up with uh, broken limbs and all nowadays. But, you know, you got to give the kids the history. So when uh, they get older, they can uh, pass on uh, misinformation. <laughs> Out there is the peninsula where Aransas National Wildlife Refuge is. And there are alligators out there. A lot of boar, javelina. So let me try my famous call. Gator, 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 gator. Yeah, gator, 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 gator.
I didn't even see these other guys around the corner. Whoa, there's a lot around the corner. One, two, three, and then if you guys can see back. Whoa. You see them all back there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's, there's at least 15 back there. There's a big buck, too. He's the one kind of on the right in the back. Hmm. He is a busy man. I was up in uh, Upper Black Eddy, Pennsylvania one time with my buddy Fritz. And he would get huge herds of deer. There had to be 50, 60 deer in this one herd. We watched them feed. We were up on the hill and they were down in a little gully area. And he slowly got out of the car and he just charged that herd screaming and started his own uh, stampede. It was funny. The deer didn't even look scared. It probably wasn't the first time he did that they were just like here comes that crazy guy leaving the park and I just cranked up my air conditioning it is hot back along the bay guys I appreciate y'all checking out the channel today uh, there's links in the description if you need to get a hold of me my email is there my mailing address and uh, if you do send me anything guys please make sure uh, it's addressed exactly how it's written or my mail center here will return it to you it's uh, it's been a experience uh, my PayPal account uh, my Amazon link all that fun stuff thank you guys thanks for all the cards birthday wishes and thanks for watching.